Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. My name is Clark, host of Intelligent People. Now today we're going to talk about Botox, Dyspore, or Xiaomi. Those are the three toxins available in the US. We're talking about the four headlines and what happens if the Botox on four headlines is done wrong. We're going to look at what can go wrong and how we can correct that if we can correct it. Here's my friend George. George here has been with me for many, many years. And basically the forehead muscles are considered broad, flat, superficial muscles. And they're the muscles that pull the eyebrow up. These muscles pull upward. So any treatments in this region that doesn't go well will do what? It will affect the eyebrows. That's right. Your eyebrows could be crooked, mal aligned, and it can be also corrected if the Botox is done the right way. If it's not done the right way, then you can make symmetrical, clean eyebrows crooked, or drooped, or hooded, or feeling just way too heavy. So let's take a look at some of the reasons why that can occur. The first reason, you may have asymmetrical eyebrows, which I think 99% of the population has. With Botox, we can level the eyebrows and make them look symmetrical. However, we can also accidentally make them uneven and look less appealing. That occurs with bad placement or mal placement of the toxin in different areas of this muscle. So this muscle pulls the eyebrows up. And when you treat with Botox, it relaxes the muscles. Therefore, if you need your eyebrows to be adjusted, then we have to work with the dosage and the placement to create a nice, even, or symmetrical shape. Not all eyebrows can be symmetrical because the shape of the head is also asymmetrical. If you take a close look in the mirror, you may find that one side of your forehead or face is actually more projected than the other side. Or you may find that the top half and the bottom half might be mad aligned. But these differences make us beautiful. So I do not like to change all of these differences. I do not like to make a patient 100% symmetrical because then it's not that person anymore. I will make eyebrows or cheeks symmetrical as close as possible as I believe the patient would like. So let's take a look again at those eyebrows and the side effects of doing a bad treatment. If a bad treatment is done on the forehead or treatment without as much consideration for placement, what can occur again is mal alignment, asymmetry, or drooping, or hooded, or heaviness of the brow. If that occurs, sometimes it can be corrected, sometimes it cannot. Let's talk about droops. Droops occur if the product is placed too low on the forehead, hitting that frontalis muscle and relaxing it way too much. If that occurs, your eyebrows will sit very low and you will look sleepy or drowsy or as though you had a stroke. Another not so pleasant side effect, if the Botox is not done well, is you can have drooping of the lid itself which looks even worse. These can't really be corrected. They could be alleviated, but it takes time for the Botox to wear off. So thankfully, Botox wears off in three to five months. Any hooding or dropping of the eyebrows would wear off in about maybe two months. Sometimes the treatment is finished and you still have kind of wrinkles on the forehead or a few lines above the eyebrow or a few lines within the hairline. This requires a touch-up. So touch-ups are there for the provider to learn your muscles. So if there are any residual lines on the forehead, that can be treated with a touch-up. If your medical provider 
is well trained and have enough experience, this should never happen. So though Botox is pretty safe, we have to be careful of over injecting or over treating the patient's face. If we over treat with Botox, sometimes it's a little difficult to reverse that. Well, it's very difficult to reverse it. So most of the time we have to wait for time for those results to disappear.